Today we've got a super sick automation that is going to be able to give you infinite content ideas and scripts that are actually good so you can explode your social media and just to show you how crazy and easy this is to use, all you have to do is put in a competitor's URL here from whatever social media you want and it's going to be able to scrape that URL um, to basically be able to find their best performing content. So how this works is as soon as you put in that URL, it's going to start the automation, it's going to yeah, automatically scrape that page to be able to put all of their content into a database. Um, it's then got a virality filter. So what this means is for content that gets three times the amount of views compared to their followers. So if you have 10,000 followers and you get 30,000 views, that is going to be able to pass through this filter, meaning we're only going to get the best performing content from your competitors to be able to yeah get ChatGPT to analyze it um, which basically acts as a social media growth expert and it's going to provide you the 30 content ideas and scripts that are actually good and will perform well. So let's dive into it. I'm going to be building this from complete scratch. So I recommend buckling up, just get a notepad out, watch this as you go because yeah, it's only going to take 10, 20 minutes, but it is a really cool automation that I definitely recommend having if you are serious about growing your personal brand, whether it's through Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn, this is going to be an amazing way of going about that. So let's dive into it. Obviously, the first place we're going to start is make.com. If you haven't got a make account, it's completely free. And the reason I use it is because you can quite literally stay on the free plan forever. So you don't even need to pay for this. It's completely free. I probably should mention that from the start. But nonetheless, once you've got your make account, you're going to click on create a new scenario at the top right. And if you want to be able to import this automation straight away, then feel free to hop into my community. We provide all the done for you automations and blueprints so you can literally import it with one click. But if you don't want to join, this is how you're going to build it. You're essentially going to search for Appify right here and you're going to click on run an actor. Now, Appify, if you've never used it before, it is essentially a place in which you can get no code automations. So I don't know how to code. I've got very little tech experience. So this is really easy to do if you are a beginner, but you essentially just want to head over to Appify um, and you basically just want to create an account for free. Once again, everything is pretty much free in this video. Um, so that's the best part about this. Now, once you log into Appify, you're going to be able to see this screen right here. And it may look confusing, but I promise you it's really not. The, the automation that we're going to be using is, I believe it's going to be the Instagram scraper right here. So how this works is we go back to make.com and we essentially want to choose an actor. Now choosing an actor or running an actor is just a fancy way of saying that it's going to do an automation. It's going to run the automation. That's a simple way of explaining it. So to, to, we just need to select the right one. So as you can see here, this is Appify slash Instagram scraper. So it's as simple as that. We're going to find the right one. I believe it's this one, Appify slash Instagram scraper. Um, just make sure you click yes for that. That just means that it's going to run in order basically. And for the JSON file, all you're going to do is click on JSON, copy this over. So control C and then you're going to paste it in. That is as simple as it gets. Then you're just going to click OK. And just like that, you've done the first one. And there's only literally a few more to go. So it's actually really easy to run this automation. Um, so now what we're going to do is actually put a search term right here. So add a module, link it up before this one. And we're going to search for, um, I believe, variable. So set variable. And we're going to call this search term. And you'll see why in a second. And we can even link that as... I mean, we just need to find a URL. So let's just do my Instagram quickly. So let's take this URL and let's paste it in here. Now, what this means is instead of us having to go in here and put in the URL each time, we can replace this with the search term. So what this means is that all you need to do is change the URL here for whoever you want to scrape and find winning content from, and it's going to be able to do it. So that's just an easy way of going about it. So it's basically going to replace this with the URL. Um, so now that is perfect. So what we're going to do now is basically go on to Appify and we're going to get data set items. Now, this is basically just getting the results from the actual um, automation prior to this one. So for data set ID, we are going to find it right here. It's called the default data set ID. Click on it. This can stay the same. This can stay the same and just click OK. 
So now, if we run this automation, make sure to be saving it and running it all the time so you don't um, you know, lose any of it. But you, you've pretty much done the hardest part if you've made it to this point. So yeah, it's only gonna be a few more steps before you actually complete it. Let me just look at this one to see whilst that's running. Um, so yeah, this is gonna make sense in a second, but whilst this goes round, it's currently just scraping my profile for like my content, I guess. So we'll see what it gives in a second whilst this runs. I'll just pause it quickly and come back once it's done. Okay, perfect. So it has just finished running the automation, scraping my profile. And as you can see here, we have basically got a bunch of bundles. So if we quickly make this smaller, you can basically see that we've got about 27 bundles, which a bundle basically means each search is done. So each like post I've made. So if we click on this one, bundle one, you can see that we've got the, uh, let me try and find it right here. We've got how many likes I got, how many, I think that's like how many people watched past a certain time frame. but this is how many views I got, 1,742. We can see that it has, um, there should be my caption up here somewhere. Um, caption is right here. So you can see that it's literally got my caption right here. It's even got my hashtags, which is amazing. So yeah, that's perfect. Um, so now what we're gonna do is actually add one more Appify automation. And this is going to be, if we go into Appify, we're essentially gonna use, let's quickly go back, and you're gonna search for Instagram followers. Now, the reason we're getting this one is, let me just see which one I used here, just so I know. I think it's Appify Instagram Profile Scraper. So Appify Instagram, let's do profile. Um, maybe it's followers. Let me quickly, two seconds. Let's see what it is. Instagram app, right? So it is the profile scraper one. Okay. So if we go here and basically search for this one, you can see that it's, that's the name of it. So we're going to, yeah, basically put that one in here. And what we're going to do, right, is this, is, this allows us to find content that has performed three times better than their view, than their followers. So all you need to do is basically just do the same thing of just getting the JSON file and pasting it in here. So it's really that simple. That's all you need to do. And then you can just get the data set. Um, so Appify, get data set, just like what we did before. And then you obviously want to get the data set ID for this one, which is not this one. It is this one. So paste that in. And just like that, you're good to go. So all we need to do now is basically put this into, I believe, a Google Sheets. So I don't think you need an iterator. So we're just gonna go directly to Google Sheets. Um, so you search for Google Sheets and we're going to add a sheet. Make sure you select the right um, email address. You can add it right here. You may just need to log in, really simple though. Then you're gonna select the spreadsheet. So this is just where we want to put the data that we've got. So let's just quickly go to the right email and you should be able to see all of your Google Sheets here that you can basically put it into. So in this case, let's use um, let's use this one. So this was an example I did earlier. So let's quickly delete the information here. And this is called trending content topics in my niche. So let's try and find that trending content topics in my niche. There you can see it. Um, and just basically click OK. And that should be good enough um, to do. However, you will need to put the actual um, what's it called, the uh, the columns in the right place. So this is just so you can keep track of content in your niche if you ever want to look back at it, but this all makes sense in a second. Um, so once you've done that, we can basically then move on to the ChatGPT and this is where it gets really cool. So to add ChatGPT to this, all you are going to do is basically click on ChatGPT, create a completion. Obviously you need to add your API key you can do that by going to like OpenAI slash assistance, I think, or something like that. But it's pretty easy to find your API key. If you actually click on online help here, this will give you um, basically an answer for how you find your API keys. So step by step. So you can always check that out when you're building this automation. For the model, obviously you just go for whichever one you want. doesn't matter too much. We're going to go for assistance. And then this is where we need to tell ChatGPT what we want it to do. So. I've obviously got an amazing prompt right here that is pretty long, as you can see, um, but I'm going to give you the summary of it right now. 
So we're basically telling ChatGPT that I want you to act as a social media growth expert and provide me with killer content scripts that will need to create 30 engaging and informative value-driven content scripts using the data from the best performing videos in my niche, which is from the profile we've scraped. Here's nine answers to give you much more context. Um, that's just a context, not content. Context about what I do so you can make world-class content scripts for me. So here, you may be wondering, what are these nine answers that we've got? Like, right? if you want to pause it, you can see, but essentially, here's a Google Doc that I've created. And these are very important questions that you need to be able to answer to be able to give ChatGPT the right information to be able to give you a good output in terms of writing content scripts and ideas. So here are the nine questions. Um, and I will probably link this in the description so you can basically answer these and then put that into your prompt um, right here. So yeah, that's all you need to do. But as you can see, this is like really important. So questions like what is your core offer? So we're telling ChatGPT because imagine ChatGPT didn't even know what your offer is, doesn't even know who you want to target and you're, you expect it to create really good content scripts. It's not gonna happen. You need to answer these nine questions which, are, which literally takes you 30 seconds and then you can basically just copy and paste this into um, ChatGPT, into the prompt, right? So it's that simple. And then for the rest of the prompt, we've said make sure to only include the script in your output with the hook, value, and close framework, include a call to action um, a, third of the, a third of the time. And for the ones where you don't have a call to action, just make the value better, basically. And then this is basically the actual results that we get. So if we quickly copy and paste this into the one that we're building live, so you can see what this looks like, let's delete that. Um, what we need to do is obviously get the results from the actual um, thing right here. So. I believe if you go down to, um, there should be captions, which is right here. So yeah, that is, I believe what I put, um, what I put here. So yeah, that's going to give you the like overall ideas for the content. Right. Um, but essentially once you've done that, you can basically, let's quickly do that quickly. Let's just put the captions really quick. So there's a lot of different, um, is that, two seconds i'm trying to find where, where it's gone now it's up here so if we click okay max tokens you can just put however many you want to use doesn't matter and then finally we want to put this information into a google document so we're going to do insert a paragraph which is um should be right here so insert a paragraph to a document you see we have this one right here but if we actually delete this, I mean, we can, you can see how many content ideas it's given us. Let's just quickly delete all of them and let's make the text like not too big. So we want, that's perfect. So now if we use this as the output, this is where the results are going to go. We can basically select the right one and we can basically search for new winning content script, which is right here. And then for the appended text, it's going to be the chat GPT result. So now we click OK, and just like that, you've built the entire automation. So if we run this quickly, and let me pause it so, yeah, I can come back once it's done. OK, perfect. So as you can see, it is currently running, but it's already given us one output. So if we go into the Google document, you can see here that it's given us all of these content ideas and scripts based off my uh, profile. But obviously, you would replace that with a competitor in your niche. Um, but as you can see, yeah, it's given us the, uh, the hook. So are you spending hours replying to DMs? Let me show you the better way. Use automation tools to handle repetitive queries and redirect urgent ones to your attention instantly, save time and keep the human touch. Comment DMs if you want me to know my favorite tools. That's a really good call to action, um, but you could obviously add more value here. So I would personally recommend just giving them like actual softwares. So use this tool and this tool to handle. So you get the point, like this is going to give you really good ideas and really good call to actions and lead magnets but you still need to do like, this is 90% of the work done for you, but you still need to do 10% just manually checking over it before you actually put this into your notion or however you manage your content ideas, right? And content calendars. So um, you can see that it's running in the background. It's given us the uh, 
the output for the Google Sheets. So that's basically just to store like the content from your competitor, just in case you want to look back at like trending um, content from theirs. And obviously in this automation, it's going to give you their hashtag. It's going to give you their sounds, like audio sounds that they use and all that good stuff. The only final thing that let's just stop this automation before it gives us too many different parts. The only thing we want to do is actually set up a filter here, which I explained at the start of the video. But this filter is going to be a virality filter. So this is basically going to only pass through content ideas that have gotten three times the amount of views as the competitor's follower count. So if I've got 5,000 followers and you know we've set up this, this filter, it's obviously only going to pass through content on my page that has gotten more than 15,000 views. So this one, for example, got 26,000 views, which is more than a 3x multiplier. So that I would consider as a viral content for me, um, as well as um, this one's close. Um, so you can see that like humor does really well, memes, business memes do really well. Um, but if we go down here, you can see this one got 244,000 views. So yeah, almost a quarter of a million views would have obviously passed through the thing as that's like, you know, uh, a ridiculous amount. Um, that's what almost like 30x I think I don't know I can't do maths but um, you get the point like it's going to pass through only good content ideas into the Google Sheets where you can actually look at your competitors best performing content and then analyze it yourself manually if you wanted to do that but going back to this filter we essentially want to have the view count so go down here to where the where the view count is so you can see that it is let's try and find it so it's actually video play count, that's like the views. And then we want to divide it, so divide by the follower count. So that is why we had that second Appify scraper, if you remember, to basically divide it by the follower count. And then it's going to, um, we're gonna do greater than, greater than or equal to three. So that basically means that if you do 50,000 divided by their follower count, it's or however many you know you want, but it's going to get three times. It's only going to get uh, content that's gotten three times more views than their follower count, which is what we want. So you can see that that's amazing, um, and that's basically it. Like this is an amazing automation that I definitely use because even if it manually goes into the Google Sheet from that part on, where if you, even if you stop using the AI to generate the content scripts for you, you still get a database of like the best performing content from your competitor's page which you can then like just make a different variation of and it's going to perform well. So yeah, hope you found this video valuable. If you did, just drop a like, subscribe, let me know what automations you want me to do next on the channel and I'll catch you in the next video. Obviously join my community if you want all of my make.com make automations and free goal high level. But yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy and have an amazing rest of your day.